In this video we will explain about green steel and how it can be produced. The steel industry is one of the most carbon-intensive industries in the world and makes up 7% to 9% of global CO2 emissions. Around 75% of steel is still largely made in coal-fired blast furnaces, which pump large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Huge amounts of energy are also needed to heat the furnaces to above 1000 degrees Celsius. Overall, steel production accounts for around 8% of global emissions. Green steel refers to steel production processes that aim to minimize or eliminate the carbon emissions associated with traditional steelmaking methods. Steel production is a significant contributor to global carbon dioxide (CO2) emissions due to the reliance on coal in the traditional blast furnace process. Green steel initiatives are designed to address this environmental impact by adopting cleaner and more sustainable production methods. Traditional method of steel production, in the blast furnace operation, iron ore and coal are first processed at the sintering plant and coke plant into appropriate states, respectively, and then go into the blast furnace. The blast furnace produces molten iron, which is then put back into the converter to make them into molten steel. Carbon monoxide is used as the reducing agent here. There are several approaches to producing green steel, and they generally fall into two main categories, hydrogen-based direct reduction with electric arc furnace, this method involves using hydrogen gas to reduce iron or into iron. Ultimately, the type of hydrogen used will determine the carbon footprint of the steel produced. Green hydrogen is created through electrolysis, a renewable process, which makes it the most eco-friendly. The raw materials, iron ore and hydrogen, go into the fluidized reduction furnace and come out as DRI, which is then made into molten steel through an electric furnace to create steel products. The reducing agent utilized here is 100% hydrogen. The chemical reaction between iron ore and hydrogen produces water vapor as a byproduct instead of CO2. This process is commonly referred to as direct reduction of iron DRI, with hydrogen. Biomass or natural gas-based direct reduction, instead of hydrogen, biomass or natural gas can be used as reducing agents in the direct reduction process. While these methods still produce some CO2, the emissions are significantly lower compared to traditional blast furnace methods. The shift to green steel production can contribute to achieving net zero emissions for several reasons, reduced carbon emissions, the primary goal of green steel production is to significantly decrease or eliminate CO2 emissions associated with traditional steel making methods. This reduction is crucial for meeting global climate goals. Use of renewable energy, incorporating renewable energy sources in the steel production process helps decarbonize the energy input, further reducing the overall carbon footprint. Carbon capture and storage CCS. Some green steel production methods can be combined with carbon capture and storage technologies to capture and store CO2 emissions, preventing them from entering the atmosphere. Circular economy, recycling scrap steel in electric arc furnaces is inherently more sustainable than extracting iron from ore, contributing to a circular economy by reducing the need for virgin materials. It's important to note that the development and adoption of green steel technologies depend on various factors, including economic viability, technological advancements, and policy support. The transition to green steel is a complex process that involves collaboration between governments, industries, and research institutions to overcome technical, economic, and regulatory challenges. Thank you.